the second part of the video i'll be covering the user interface of the keyshot so let's open up a file so let's see the user interface the top option that you see here is the menu bars which you see here and this particular area is called the ribbon bar which you can enable or disable from window and ribbon and these are the docking windows whom you can place anywhere you want i will tell you in a bit how you can do that and the last one is a toolbar which is you could see was in the bottom so window and toolbar it is enabled now so let's see first these uh, ribbon bar options the first option that you see is the workspace uh, keyshot already have some built-in workspaces the default is enabled now so i can go to the compact you can see everything has changed i can you know switch between the scene and the pro uh, project window and the library just by clicking here or i can just switch back to default the next thing that you see is the cpu percentage like how much percent you want to use for the key shot you can decide here and uh, right now when i move it my cursor you can see the model is actually rendering in the real time but what if you want to pause the rendering you can choose this particular option it will pause the rendering and next option is a performance mode performance mode actually uh, 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 and you know decreases the rendering properties and it faster it makes faster for the movements so if you want to animate and do other operations you can do it easily by enabling performance mode because it turns off the life light and it also disable the light settings so you can work faster in the performance mode i'll be leaving it on here the denoise feature is introduced in keyshot 9 which i will actually cover later so just so you know you can enable or disable it from here next option is render nerves render nerves is done for the smooth curves if you curve and the or the model involves the renders you can enable and disable the renders from here next option is a reason you can control the amount of uh, you know the reason where you want to uh, do the render this is quite useful like if you particular if you are working at the particular section of your geometry you can apply the reason to render it very fast so let me disable it so these few options are like how you want to work so when you enable the tumble and you press the left click and move it it will actually tumble around in the environment around your model so you can see the next option is a pan when i click on it and then i press my left click button and move it then you will i can actually pan it here the next one is a dolly dolly decides the movement of a camera like if your camera is moving forward then you will see something like this it, it is like you are zooming in but if you uh, if you see like this it feels like that you are zooming out you can control the dolly by pressing left click button and going bottom or top so that's how you can work with the dolly let me go back to the tumble next option is about the perspective you can change the perspective here and next four options control the camera settings you can get the camera settings from here in the project and camera they can do a lot of things here next is the studios you can work with the studios in the environment and stri editor so i'll be covering them later in the section of course next is the tools you get a lot of options here move tool you can move your models using this one you can normals retessellate close mess there are a lot of options here which i'll be covering later next is a geometry view geometry view is really important geometry view actually let you use and work on your scene 
without uh, using much of your computing power now you can see in the geometry view i have two cameras here camera one and camera two when i go to camera you can see i have two cameras here this is a free camera and this is a camera two and you can see everything here i can see my model this geometry view can also be used for the purpose of animation for the faster work let me disable it next is a configurator wizard configurator wizard is can be used to present your ideas you can save your single model with different materials in the configurator wizard you can see it here i will cover it, i will cover it in the further videos next section that i would like to cover is these menu bars if you go to the file new creates a new file if you want to work on it first it will overwrite your current file second is a import and the third one is a import dialog there's a basic difference between import and import dialog both of them are used to import the 3d geometries from various cad files but the difference lies in the fact that the import dialogs gives you the uh, a toolbox where you can control the import properties next is open and open recent contains your recent working files save save as and save package now there's a difference between save and save package when you save your your render it saves your file as a bip format and next one is a save package but when you save in a bip file it is very good if you are working your if you need your file in your computer only but you if you need to transfer your render file to the other computer you have to use the save package because in the save package it not only saves your model it also saves the textures which are involved in your particular render so let me increase these values first for the better properties so we were here so you can save a key shot viewer when you see you can save a bip file the save uh, you can save actually a package file for the key shot viewer you can also uh, put password in this one or you can export using this particular uh, file export and you can export into the various formats like stl fbx next one is a edit you can go to the edit for the undo and redo options add geometry you can add geometry cube cylinder and all of the other things next is a clear geometry and next is a scene units you can use your scene units from here but you should stick to the uh, units which you were using in your cad software preferences we have already covered environment control the options like background like what background do you want to use like environment color or black plate black plate image next is the ground shadows if you want it you can enable it otherwise disable it flatten ground and other these options i will cover later and i will be covering this particular environment tab next is the lighting performance mode i already tell you these options basic product interior and these options you can switch back and forth between them based on your the product if you are, you are working in a jewelry you should enable this one or interior if you are working on an interior design project otherwise you can go to the project lighting and make your own settings a custom setting next option these i will cover with the lighting settings next one is a camera camera cycle cameras if you have a lot of cameras if you have made uh, cameras then you can shift between them lock camera for locking a camera and uh, you can change the view from here perspective orthographic or panoramic whatever you want next is standard views front or you can see stay above the ground allows the camera to always stay above the ground you can't take the image of a product uh, by putting your camera under the ground and uh, match back back plate perspective you can match the perspective of your image with the backplate image so that it would become 
it would look like realistic next is image you can change the resolution of this particular view that we are seeing here right now next is the render you can pause render this option is also available here render nerves you can see the option was here side of the denoise or the screenshot which i have told you in the last video and uh, you can go to view to control the options here uh, the first is a heads up display heads up display is this one where you can see the fps time samples triangles and all of the th other things and uh, so coordination legend which is here you can see your coordinate axis like x y and z in the bottom next is window you can choose what you want to see at right now otherwise you can disable or enable you can see i have disabled the ribbon you can go to the materials using this one or uh, colors that or otherwise you can just click here go to window keyshot xr use is used in making a 360 view of your uh, render i will cover that particular thing later and geometry view i have already covered you can enable or disable docking so let's go to the help you can see you can get the keyshot manual which is quite useful it contains a detailed explanation of all the functions of keyshot 9 or you can go to the learning and get tutorials webinar and other things so i haven't told you about docking so you can do the docking just by clicking and moving and dragging you can put your these windows anywhere even you can take this toolbar out and you can put it on the side and you can just put it where you want so its user interface is quite simple and you can customize it using the v view and the window option